Well, folks, welcome back to the channel where it is all about racing. I'm Mark, and today we're going to take a look at two 143 scale Durago Red Bull racing cars, in fact, the RB18. Now, those of you that know me through the 300 some odd videos that I've done, you know I'm a big sports car fan. I'm, I attend IMSA races, SRO, the WC. I've got to be honest with you, I've never seen a single F1 race in my entire life. Not that we have that much exposure to them here in Virginia as they only taken place in places like Vegas, Houston, and Miami. And tickets are almost impossible to get. So I don't know a whole lot about this, and this is a learning experience for me. But I'm really excited to kind of get into this. I just bought uh, eight cars. These are two of them. So we're going to take a look at the RB18 first, that being this car, which was designed and constructed by Red Bull for the 2022 Formula One World Championship, which is two years ago. Now, the RB18 is one of Adrian Newey's most successful Formula One designs and is the successor to the RB19, one of the most dominant Formula One cars ever. Now, the Red Bull team of 2022 would feature defending world champion Belgium's Max Verstappen and Mexico's Sergio Perez. Now, this car featured a 1.6 liter direct injection V6 turbocharged engine with electric motor featuring kinetic and thermal recovery systems. That's a real mouthful. Quite sophisticated technology. And this car would make its debut at the 2022 Bahrain Grand Prix. Now, these cars in 2022 would finish first 17 times out of 22 races, and Max Verstappen, obviously, would win the Drivers' Championship, his third, and Red Bull, the Constructors' Championship. Now, those of you that follow my series, you know that I always talk about presentation first. Uh, these cars are replicas in 143 scale by Barago, which is a part of the Maestro International Group. They come in these cardboard boxes, as you can see here, and from the looks of it, it says ages three and up. You'd think it's made for children, and granted, there are not a lot of fragile parts on this, but it's really a nicely detailed car, particularly by Barago standards, and we'll talk about that more in a moment. Now, what would appear to be a jewel cover is not. It's just a plastic insert in here, so you do not really get a substantial base with this or a jewel cover. I think these are basically the bargain bottom uh bargains of the Barago line. But the packaging, other than that, is really quite nice. You've got the pictures of both drivers on the inside of the box. Now, I did mention that your base is basically just a cardboard piece. It's utterly useless. Now, the sides of the box feature each of the drivers. On this side is Max Verstappen in car number one. Shows his helmet, which helps for identification of the car, too. The other side features his partner, Sergio Perez, number 11. And the back of the box gives you a really cool picture of the car itself. Very, very nice for cars that I got for virtually nothing. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's talk a little bit about the car itself. Overall, the presentation of this car is very, very good. The, imperial, the materials seem to be a combination of resin and plastic. You do have rubber wheels, and yes, it does roll back and forth. Something I'm not used to as a collector. Most good collector's cars do not roll, but I know there are a lot of people out there that do like cars that roll. So if you like that, you get this. As I've mentioned, you ha literally have to remove this from the base because the packaging is really cheesy and you really don't want to display with that. Uh, it is easy because there are not a lot of fragile parts on here. Fragile parts typically are mirrors, which are fairly solid on this car. A lot of times you'll have pitot tubes and aerials. They are lacking on this car. You know, Brago is known for being good, but, but basement, you know, quality. This certainly is not basement quality. In fact, I think it's every bit as good almost as IXO. And it does feature nice carbon fiber textures, as you see here on the base of the, uh, the chassis. The wheels look really nice. The tires are rubber. The car is a mixture of flat black and carbon fiber with orange and yellow. The decals and those that are tampo printed are very, very nice. I mean, the front wing, I think, guys, you know, that that looks really good. I mean, it it looks really good, particularly for Barago. I just never expected that. As I move on up, you know, you can see the suspension is nice. Now, it doesn't have a lot of the carbon fiber trim that you'll get on a Spark model, but they did a really nice job with the application of decals on that. And as we move further up, you get to the driver's cabin. Again, really nicely done. Now, the figure itself... Has a nice helmet, but it's basically 
a stick man that looks like a six-year-old could draw that's inside of the car. So you don't want to look in there too much. The steering wheel is really nothing to, uh, to brag about. And again, just notice that carbon fiber trim. I just really never expected to see that on a Brago. Really a shock. Now, the rear of the car looks really good, too. I was really surprised with the, uh, the decal work that they've applied to the interior of the back of the rear wing. Now, the exhaust is black. It's not chrome. You know, it just kind of blends. It's not really spectacularly well done. But overall presentation is good. Rear wing looks good. All in all, I think very, very sharp. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Last of all, we'll just take a look at the car from a helicopter's point of view. Again, you can see very, very nicely done. Spin this around a little bit. We'll try to take a look at, into the uh, interior of the cabin. And you can see the steering wheel. But as I've mentioned, the, the figure itself is basically just a stick figure with a pretty nice helmet sitting on top of it. I think they did overall a really good job with that. Folks, bottom line is this. I'm impressed with Barago. I never would have bought Barago if I hadn't got the bargain I got on this. And we will talk about that right now. I picked these up on eBay. There was an offer for six cars for $35 free shipping under Lynn's discount. And basically, if, if you go onto eBay and you look for Barago 143 scale, you'll find this. It'll come up. Um, they've got these cars currently still on sale, six for 35 bucks with free shipping. And what they will do is they will give you the two Red Bull cars, the two Ferraris, that of the 2022 season, and the two Mercedes AMGs. Six cars, 35 bucks, free shipping. Really good deal. Something I think if you're interested in getting these cars and adding them to your collection, I would certainly encourage you to do so. As I've mentioned, the packaging is rather sparse and crappy, but the car itself is pretty nice. Is it spark quality? No, but it's a Barocco. Thanks for watching. See you next time.